Hello, movie club. What's that? You're new? Well, movie club is a club for movies. We watch and review and disagree and get naked in front of the camera or maybe that last one's just me. But we do it Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And we watch these movies for free because we are criminals. I mean we have all used the URL netflix.com slash philid so we got a free month trial to watch any movie our heart desires. Unless it's not on Netflix. Today's movie happens to be Revolver. A movie about a man who happens to be Jason Statham with long hair. After learning lots of contracts and chess moves in jail, he gets out to try out his luck, but he ends up bound inside a game he doesn't know he's playing. In this stylized Guy Ritchie crime drama. And we're back! Revolver, what can I say? Well, it has this really sexy Asian girl and she's doing all this sexy stuff and things. They don't wanna hear your opinion. Yeah, they do. Bah! Go back to your country. <laughs> Cutie pie. <gasps> Hit me baby one more time. I really liked that internal struggle, it was really well done, and it drew me in. This is a Guy Ritchie movie, if you know Guy Ritchie you know what to expect visually and pace wise. A lot of cuts, fast moving cameras, jumpy subtitles, lots of narrative, and Jason Statham. And if you know Jason Statham you know to expect a lot of whispering. Yes, because this makes me sound like I can beat you in a game of chess. It was weird seeing Jason Statham looking like an 80s porn star in this movie though. Not that I watched porn from the 80s, I, I watch porn from the 70s and it's very similar. But seriously, Jason Statham is to Guy Ritchie what Johnny Depp is to Tim Burton, his gay lover. I do enjoy their collaborations though, this one uh, not so much. It had a great cast, the acting was pretty good, I actually really like Andrew 3000 as an actor, there's just something special about him. The score of this movie fit in and actually the movie as a whole kept me entertained the whole time. But this is a formula movie and this happens to be a formula that I absolutely love. A con movie crime drama with a twist at the end. Just my type. It was very easy for me to fall in love with this movie but I didn't. The thing about formulas is that they're like an equation. The same equation was done really well by the movie Lucky Numbers Laven. But while the way you solve an equation can vary, the result should always be the same. But Guy Ritchie screwed that up somewhere along the way. He followed the formula, but he got a negative. If I lost you already, don't watch this movie. You'll be more confused than that guy who thinks his mother's still a virgin. It's not that this movie is just for smart people, it's that it tries so hard to be complicated, mysterious and cryptic that it just ends up being this little goo. It makes up all these cool rules but goes into so many storylines that it's assuming that the audience is a genius, yet it repeats itself a million times as if the audience is as dumb as a table, no offense to any tables out there. I honestly liked the rules, but they weren't even that smart. They were almost common sense really. And these were supposed to be rules that gave you absolute control. Main point, this movie tried too hard to be what it could have been if it hadn't tried so hard. This movie thought it was smart, but it was actually dumb. It was its own worst enemy. Yeah. And that cartoon bit, what the heck? What the freaking heck? It just appeared randomly and then it didn't appear ever again. This movie was just looking for ways to confuse you. Sexually. Well not sexually, unless you're a guy and you really enjoy Ray Liotta in those briefs. But lesson to everyone, confusing does not equal smart. One thing that I'm not sure about though because I think it could have worked but it didn't work because the ending ruined it. It was the whole feel of this movie. This movie felt like a climax from start to finish. This movie felt like it was ending the whole time but when it was over it didn't feel over so you got angry you stood up you took out your penis and you peed all over the screen or may or maybe not or maybe not I wouldn't recommend this movie because as entertaining as it was the ending was not satisfying it's like a woman who has sex with a any guy really this type of movie is very critical because it's the type of movie that the end will either make it or break it. And unfortunately, even though I liked the message at the end, it broke the movie to pieces. Not only was the ending not satisfying, but it was hinted at so much that you could figure it out early on. I figured it out pretty quickly and I found myself wishing I was wrong the whole rest of the movie. In summary, this movie is like a stripper that starts by showing you her nipple. And then throughout the whole show, she just shows you that nipple. But at the grand finale, she shows you her other nipple. 
I already knew you had a nipple. The vagina wouldn't have been any more surprising, but at least it would have been more satisfying. So you get angry, you get up and you take out your... Well, you know. Or do you? Yes, movie club, it's your turn. Downstairs, leave comments on what you thought of this movie. And remember to also leave suggestions for future movies. Also remember, our next movie is Gamer. Also, also remember that I am an immigrant, so you should get a second opinion or a few more. So, uh, do your thing, movie club. See you later. Trocodile.